What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, NYSB Gamal. I am your host, Gamal, back at you with a quick video. So this is definitely not going to be a long video. I should have done this last week, and I did not. So last week, I picked the six NFL games that we had, and I picked four out of six. The two that I got wrong were um, the Bears. I thought the Bears would beat the Saints because I thought the Saints were suspect. And honestly speaking, the Saints were begging, begging to give that game away. Begging. It was 7-3. Don't let that score fool you at the end. They were begging to give the game away. Coach Nagy was so coaching so scared. It was irritating to me. So scared he was coaching. If Sims catches that pass at the beginning, that trick play, I wonder how different that game is. Because the Saints weren't. They were trying to get the game away. And when they realized the Bears just weren't, they were like, oh, finally, okay, yeah. And then I picked the Rams wrong against the Seahawks. Part of that being, I saw it and I thought the Rams were better. I was just like, man, you know, am I really going to bet against Russell Wilson in the playoffs? That's really what it came down to. And so my homeboy was like, oh, you should post your bets again. Not my bets, I'm sorry, I don't bet. But post your picks again. So I'm like, all right, cool, why not? So the first game we got are the Rams – and the Packers. I'll be honest with you. Personally speaking, I don't believe in Aaron Rodgers. Like he's a good, he's a great quarterback. So let me let me not say it as though he's not a good quarterback. He's a he's a great quarterback. Obviously, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. I think he is a, he's a little overrated, and I think that he's a person that's very mindful of stats, right? And so instead of making a throw that potentially could get intercepted, he'd rather just throw the ball away to maintain the stats, right? And there's, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, back when, when he was playing against like Sherman and, and those type of guys, he wasn't throwing the ball in Sherman's direction, which very much irritated me. I'm like, you got the best corner, one of the best quarterbacks, see who's better, and he just refused. So today we got him going against Ramsey and Ramsey. I don't know what's a better strategy, if Ramsey should go on Devontae Adams or if you put Ramsey on whoever their second guy is, double Adams, and tell Rodgers, pick his poison, so to speak. There's two storylines that come out of it with this. I think with the Rams, if the Rams win and say they go on to win next week as well and they go to the Super Bowl, the opportunity for L.A., who lost Nipsey and lost Kobe in a span of a year, year and a half or whatever, to then get an NBA championship, uh, MLB pennant, and then also a Super Bowl is mighty interesting. With that, though, I don't think that, I don't know, I don't, um, I don't, I don't trust, I don't know. So, with LA, to be able to do that would be mighty impressive. Right, the three three out of the four major sports that'd be mighty impressive. With Tampa winning for the Lightning winning for hockey, so that LA thing was out. I just don't think it's possible. I think was more so to happen, and this kind of will lean into my next pick. Rogers wins this week because Brady, who I is in the in the follow up game, is going to beat the Saints. I have no qualms about that. The Saints, I don't believe in. And Brady is not losing to the same team, same quarterback three times in a row, unless it's my New York Giants. But he's he's just not. The same season, Brady's not losing three times to the same team. Like, he's just not. And the way that they were embarrassed the first two times, he is not going in there like that. And I think it is a better story for Tom Brady, who spent his entire life beating all these mediocre quarterbacks in the NFC East all those years, and then Big Ben, who would... Um, implode in the playoffs and Peyton Manning who would implode in the playoffs and the quarterbacks you know he uh, uh, Andrew Luck who would implode in the playoffs and Philip Rivers who would implode in the playoffs to he always held up his end of the bargain he made it to the Super Bowl Breeze 
Rodgers did not. They had the opportunity to play him in there and they didn't hold up their end. Sort of like when Kobe was still Kobe, LeBron didn't hold up his end. Um, and I love Bron, but he didn't hold up his hand to his end until we ever got that matchup. And so it's pretty cool that Brady has now gone over into the conference with these guys. And I think that Brady Brady is about to not only beat Breeze this week, but then beat Rodgers next week and then get himself in the the um the Super Bowl and be the first quarterback at age 42, 43, whatever he is, to then turn around and win the Super I'm sorry, play in the Super Bowl. He's not winning it. But play the Super Bowl in the city in which he hosts, which has never been done before. Because Tampa's hosting this year. He plays for Tampa, and they're going to the Super Bowl. On the flip side, Bills Ravens. Toughest game for me to choose this weekend. Um, I'm going to go with the Bills. I'm going to say that Indianapolis was a really good team last week. And it was a great testing for the Bills. And I think that Buffalo has shown himself to me to be the best team in football for the past, whatever, two months or so. And that could be because the Chiefs were sleepwalking and I can't, whatever the reason, they have proven that they were the best team in football. I do think we're going to get two bad games out of them. I just don't. And I think that the Bills are going to show up. And then the last game, and this one I had a little trouble with, not because the Browns and what they did last week, and yes, I did pick them last week, or that I think that they're anywhere near in the Chiefs' hemisphere. I just don't know if the Chiefs aren't as good as their record is, or were they so bored with the regular season that they just said, let's just do whatever we need to do, the bare minimum to get here, and then when we get in the playoffs, we'll turn it on. Sort of like Golden State was when they got Durant. After they won the ring that first year, the next year they were really eh, lax of days ago, ho hum about it, and they ended up winning anyway. And so, that very well could be the Chiefs. I just don't know. Like they look like they are they're, they're they're trying to get beat. That does not mean that the Browns are the said team to beat them, right? But they are looking like they're trying to get beat. But I'm a, I'm stick with the Chiefs because I just think it'd be crazy to pick the Browns two straight weeks. Let me not say it like that. I think it's crazy to go against Mahomes, regardless of how good I thought the Browns looked last week. Um. So to recap. I'm grudgingly taking Aaron Rodgers because I really do think that the Rams could win this one. 100% think the Rams can win this one. And I'm going to say this real fast. And this is a hedge bet type of thing. And I apologize. I do feel if you see that it, if it starts, this is my problem with Aaron Rodgers. If things start going bad, he quits. He's out. Like if things are going well, they're up, they're rolling and everything is smooth. Oh, he's happy. Go lucky. He's great. I am telling you the moment it gets tough, he quits. He's out. I don't like that. You cannot be that great a quarterback and be out the way he is. So if 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 it looks like they're putting a hat on him and things of that nature, he's gonna be out. And if he's out, it, it can get ugly, right? It's a low scoring game. I don't I don't believe in the quarterbacks for the Rams being able to do anything, but the defense might be able to do some things. But I'm gonna go ahead and say Rodgers gets out of this one and Brady is legitimately going to go through Breeze and then go through Rodgers next week. And I, you'll get my picks, whatever. We're going with Green Bay, Tampa Bay, the Bills, the Chiefs. And with that, as always, hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day, weekday, weekend, whatever it is. Till next time.